Three smart. Liz smart. I missed a part about the whole Nason thing, but I think that we have finally found the sisterhood within Strange Grief. Three gives me a, a weird vibe. She would think that a girl that kind of has like the pinkish hair would be kind of nice, but look at Liz, she's a maniac. There's a weird look in her face of like, maybe nihilism, sadism? Something is not right there, so I think I should be scared of her. She's also the one that created the slime that just is MIA, but I think at the end of the day, this, <laughs> sorry, the slime is somewhere within the wolf's den. We just lost it while Krai was, you know, flying into the cave and the slime will just like get rid of the uh, the opposition's defense system. They've been glazing this defense system like crazy. The funniest part is just like how Cry has no idea what he's really doing. The opposition, the whole mage guild or something, the old man, he's always like, oh, Sophia, what do you think we should do? Yeah? Okay, guys, we should just do that. Bro has no fucking clue what's happening. They're hoping that this defense system is going to save them. I think the slime is just going to dismantle that shit. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, we got some backstory right away. Okay. Damn, she's already so fast. Umu. <laughs> umu. <laughs> See, he said Umu again. He's never going to say anything else other than Umu. And I hope they commit to the bit. If the entirety of his voice acting is just Umu, I think it'd be the funniest shit like in Data Live. The gross trio saying, Ew, ew, Matsukaya, ew, gross. Be an alchemist. Do the researching thing. There it is. And now she's the best alchemist ever. It adapts to the environment? Just us? Why not the rest of our grieving souls party? That's kind of interesting. And what about other innocent bystanders? Okay, that's nice to hear. Only us. I wonder if there's like sisterhood beef and she hates Liz and she would like program the city slime to be more hostile towards Liz. Now, where did it go? Mm -hmm. And he was flying really fast, aggressively. It likes human places. Okay. I don't know. Is this her entire bit? Like their entire relationship is... Is that the right answer? And Krai doesn't say how to know, how to say no. Like he'll just glaze and say yes, yes, yes. And then it feeds her delusions more and more and more. I don't know. Or maybe she's so smart that she guesses everything and gives us credit. Hmm. What's up? God damn it! Now I'll listen to it this time. I'm playing on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and now you're playing again. I gotta pay attention. What is the party doing with that? You, 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 did you, you, you just played one line after you started the open. Why? To keep the audience engaged to make sure they're listening the entire time. Fuck you. おさなまじみとともに結成した最強パーティーのリーダー栄光と苦悩に満ちた英雄誕であるおめでとうございます。ふう、and Okay, a little bit of recap. Ooh, Akashic Tower. And their fraudulent leader. Stree versus that Sophia girl. Bro wins by doing nothing. What's... <laughs> oh yeah, it's this frame again. Did, wait, did this happen last episode where there's like one frame of the horse just smiling? Out of nowhere? And I was like, what the fuck was that? It's kind of funny. Mr. Bow user. Excuses to remove Liz from the situation, from clutching. 
slime to ma tomo ni tatagatte koto no aru yatsu wa iru ka? Uh oh. They're all underestimating the slime. Oh, wait till you see, bro. Are they? Aren't slimes, like, very good against just physical attacks? As if you cut or punch or do anything, they'll just heal right back up? No, they're intentionally doing this. That's how stupid and ignorant they are, because they've never really fought slimes. They're intentionally bringing up weapon choices and attacks that should be ineffective against a slime, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. What's a hammer gonna do? Yeah, I bet the fire would work. Oh shit! That's the guy from Exploration Hero. You remember Lolly leveling last season? The guy who goes around finding cards that summons lollies? Bro was farming slimes with the fucking spray can the entire time. That's him! <laughs> These guys are funny. It's a monster slime. It's a test. Our first victim. Yup, he looks just like the guy that's gonna be sacrificed. The cocky motherfucker that will just lead the ch you know lead the charge and immediately just die. Alright, bro, let's see it. Yep. <laughs> I warned you, bro. That's all on you, man. They are so cooked. <laughs> We're crazy? That part is true, though. I do love how, like, sometimes the stupidest people and the people that's new here actually do, like, go against Cry because they're true. But, you know, in this show, nah, this master's words are absolute. Oh? Sophia? That's her? In a disguise? What's she doing? I thought that she was with the Rakashic Towers and setting up defense system, but she's... role-playing amongst us? That's Sophia, right? Wait, that's... you're Sophia! Yeah, you're lying! Because Sturi lives in like Sturi, it seems like there's a rivalry here, but I think it's like a very one-sided rivalry. Maybe I'm underestimating her, but I think the pull point of this arc is gonna be the clash between her and Sturi, right? Are you sure we should trust that? I don't believe it. Bad idea. Uh-oh. It's their cell phone meteor. <laughs> These dudes have the most sad and funny designs. It's as if the author wants us to let us know that they're just a bunch of goons that's just gonna get just rid of immediately. Look, look at them. Does this inspire like, like courage in you? Do you think that when you look at them, it's intimidating character designs? They look like a bunch of lackeys, like they're intentionally funny looking. Yep. Good luck. You know what? Sven is a pretty good leader. The whole speech there, his ability to just like rally the troops. I like Sven. Alright, but can you walk the walk if you can talk the talk? <laughs> I hope they keep doubting Cry. Oh shit, they're alive! A part of me agrees with them, that's the thing. Like, a part of me actually agrees with them about a dude that couldn't even be bothered to show up. He kind of based for that. 
just let him think of this. Delusional. Delusional faith. Yo, bro's gonna die taking a piss. I'm worried. What if the slime's outside? No! Oh no, they're gonna continue with him taking a piss. He's cooked. Something bad's gonna happen. Yo, be careful, my man. True. Wolves. The phantom wolf cry? Bro has a muzzle. So they're going to release the phantoms on them. It sounds like these lackeys are also fed up with their fucking leader, bro. Right now, we have lackeys on both sides, right? Christ side and the Akashic Tower side. And they're both calling bo their leaders a fraud. Krai does nothing but sit back and say some bullshit. And over here, this old man does nothing but fucking listen to Sophia and say, okay, Sophia, listen to Sophia, guys. They're both shit talking their bosses. I love it. Oh. That's a big ass needle. Oh shit! This guy's making moves! Giga Chat parried! Bro, he's saving the day! What the fuck? A dude that I thought would just die immediately to be served as fodder is saving the day right now! He's the one making first contact with the Kashik Tower! This is incredible! Ooh. Yes, the thousand tricks anticipated for him to doubt and to take a piss at this exact time. Yes. Master's plans. I don't know, he's about to juice him up. Bro's name is Hose. Uh oh. Enraged wolf phantom incoming. Doesn't this look like a slime? What the hell is this? Slime! But it's not study slime. And it came from their own research. And I'm sure that Sophia was doing alchemy research and stuff and competing against study. So maybe there's some inspirations taken from the slime and that's what this is. Even though this is not the actual slime that we're looking for. <laughs> Wolf slime monster. Yeah, bro, listen. Oh my god, Kai was right. This acting. This is Sophia, right? I'm not crazy, right? This is the girl, the red haired girl. You fucking acting still when nobody's watching you? Gain's taking a piss and he may have died. Gain! Bro lived! Bro lived! <laughs> he wasn't a fraud! Senpin Bankan! He was not a fraud! It's the real deal! Oh my god, he predicted it! Oh. Oh shit, here it comes. Wolf slime monster. It's not gonna take any physical damage. Are you a twin sister? <laughs> what? Why is she acting like this still? Cause like I expected to have like a camera scene of like her like smirking or like something to kind of like indicate that she is Sophia. But the show is really, really baiting me right now. Maybe it just isn't Sophia, bro. Maybe it's someone entirely different. I'm crazy. Spence bow. Remember, he intentionally uses a bow from the intro. Magic? Nope. Physical abilities? Nope. Yo, where's that guy? 
<laughs> we need the we need the uh the insect spray, the repellent guy. He he spent 700 gil for that. At least let him try on this thing. No, his arm. He actually lost it. Yep. He's a god. It's a wolf slime. Whoa, what was that? What was that animation? What was that? They started moving around, but there's still only one arrow here. The fuck? Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> it's preemptive loading. It's, it's faster to just throw the shit up. Boom, 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 boom. No reload. No, no, no. It's already coming down. <laughs> Damn. It did nothing though. Retreat. We need to retreat. Blood? Oh, it's the thing that's supposed to work against. And yes, I know her name is Taria, but that's what she said she was. And that's the thing I don't fucking believe. Is she a fraud? I don't know. I think? What if this like makes it into like a stronger slime? I don't know about this. Maybe she's a good person. I'm crazy, bro. Let's go, Sven. Land on it. Ooh. No, it got... It contained it. Well, this is like a slime transformation. Obviously, it's not a slime. We got in the wolf got injected, and then some sort of slime quality showed up. So maybe that thing actually does work against real slimes, but this is like an artificial slimification. Price of fraud. This acting, unless again, this is the craziest acting right now from her. She seems to be not Sophia at all. I was wrong. She just looks just like her, and. It's actually Stree's assistant. True. True. Very true. Stree. The real alchemist. Oh, fuck. The hero arrives. Right. Magic or physical attacks? None of it works. It's better than a level 8 treasure vault monster. Whoa. Which means. Nice dodge. She's absorbed more mana material than anyone else. I'm not really sure exactly what mana material is. Like, I kind of do understand. It's kind of like the syringe shit, right? And what the wolf is looking for, but she is special. Hey, there's a little slime piece over there. Dodge. Dodge. Huh? Boom. It works. Anti-slime stuff. Oh, it got away. The fuck? Someone was there. Anti-mana metal. Sure. My man came ready. That's right. Gark did the, you know, the part because Liz shit on him and said that you're washed up old man doing paperwork. It's a little late though. <laughs> She's very smart indeed. Yeah, probably because this is something that she like understood and came up with when she was like way younger. Like whatever they think is so secret and is so good here. I bet Shturi did this when she was a kid. And again, if Studi is over here and this Sophia looking girl is really just Talia and she is her assistant, 
then she's not calling her out. This is literally not Sophia, and I got baited like crazy. Now, why does she look just like Sophia? Twin sister, then? Where, where are we going with this? Wait, 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 what? Noctis Cochlear, the master of mages. Okay, they're glazing that guy. The but the GG, bro. The fucking GG right now, just getting carried by Sophia. That's this guy. Oh. Oh. How about another tinfoil theory? And I'm probably sounding so stupid right now, but if she has been tracking down the old man the entire time, then this is Sophia. But it's an alias. And she's been doing undercover work to get into Akashic Tower stuff? Is that what's happening right now? It's either twin sister. Or she has a different alias and she's been snooping around on behalf of Stree because she was looking for the old man. Talia is clearly a real person. She acknowledges her. Anti-mana metal. Alright. Don't worry, we got Garth, bro. Okay. I believe in you so much more than cry. Even though she can't fight, the way she casually dodged everything tells me that her base level of like physical activity endurance, it's probably really good. Like she can't fight like Liz, but see how nonchalantly she was just dodging and dodging? It's true though. She's strong in different areas. It's an act? She's actually downplaying herself more and more to seem all oo so she can get away with everything? I mean, she does have a maniacal sadistic look before this look right she has a very sus look so like okay she's just downplaying herself she's a demon but googly moogly that's a lot of ass <laughs> it should be tino on cry's lap instead at least then we could see tino's ass cheeks liz got no ass cheeks to show bro I think Tina wants to give him a lap dance right now. <laughs> she just keeps looking back. <laughs> Tina's like, oh, this is so indecent. But I kind of want to be doing that instead. <laughs> Yo. The fucking narrator just broke the fourth wall and told Liz to shut up. Alright, is there a post credit scene? Post credit, post credit, post credit? Yeah? Kind of? Is this it? What is this? Post credit scene, post credit scene. The prodigy. The Noctis guy. Yeah, the old man. But maybe she's close to achieving that dream. Okay. So basically, she found about his research and how it's so audacious that it's encroaching on like God's domain to be able to artificially create stuff and she's taken, up, she's taken upon herself to kind of like correct that. That's today's episode. What's happening with Talia? I thought that Talia was doing some investigation on behalf of Akashic Towers and was, you know, just doing some Among Us stuff. And just actually Sophia, but it's no, this is Talia. Stree has acknowledged. And at that point, the only way that I can really think about and how they're so similar is that Talia is a twin sister of Sophia. Or Talia is doing some undercover covert, I don't know, espionage as disguised as Sophia as an alias in order to work on behalf of Stri to get closer to Noctis. Maybe. I don't know. The way that Talia was kind of talking about in the group meeting here kind of suggests that maybe that's not the case. But other than those two, I I can't really think of like what the connection could be other than it's just a random girl that just looks identically like Sophia. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but uh, that's pretty much it. The wolf monster stuff, eh, it's, it's alright. I actually had a lot of respect for this guy today, man. 
Mr. I went to take a piss and then accidentally, you know, found, you know, the Akashka Towers. This guy is great. These side characters actually are so fun and great. I thought, I, I straight up thought that he was just going to die immediately, but I think he did lose an arm in the process of, you know, doing that. So, wah, wah. Sven was also really cool today. Sven's like tossing up the arrows out of the quiver and then shoot once and immediately rapid shot was a really cool mechanic. I think it's more show than, you know, efficiency. But anyways, Gark is also here too. So all the gang is here. And we have to figure out, you know, how to actually defeat this three slime because, you know, we don't even see that yet. All we're seeing is random slimification experiments, but Stree is also hiding something. There is something more than meets the eye that I'll think that we'll see next episode. Some of the more dark side of her. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.